First Elite 2 race this weekend and the crowd is ready to see a spectacular race for sure. Philip Lietz in the car number 67 starts from pole position, that's 20.236 seconds ahead of Salvador Tinio Arroyo in car 51, Maxime Demare car 24 and the 2014 Elite 2 champion that's fourth place for Florian Renoir in car number five. Steens Longen is also back in fifth place with Giamarco Ecoli in sixth. Initially second on the grid was Thomas Ferrando, but he starts back in seventh after being penalised in Valencia. First Lady Carol Perrin. Here we go then, Liet takes the best start on the outside line ahead of Tinio Arroyo and Renoir as he chose the outside line as well. Renoir takes second place from Tinio Arroyo, so great start for him too. Top five then is the car number 67 belonging to Liet. Second is the car five of Renoir and then 51 that of Tinio Arroyo. And we can see already how far ahead Lietz is getting, really pulling ahead of the rest of the pack, all chasing him down. And, well, in a rookie cup drive, it's really half fighting for positions. You've got Florian Renoir there, Salvador Tineo Arroyo, and Steens Long, and all fighting for third, fourth, and fifth. And fighting is that word, all vying for position. And the battle for second is really six cars or seven cars strong with seven cars ahead of the rest of the pack and all of them way, way, way behind the race leader belonging to car number 67, that is Philip Lietz. Ferrando there going on the inside. It looks like he's taken him. Yes, he's taken Steens Long. And great move there from Ferrando on the inside of that bank left-hander. We were hearing from the drivers earlier on saying just how much they have to concentrate. And if you look down there, a big dive on the inside. Has he got him? No, he hasn't. And lots of cars diving in the last second, trying to find even more position. Cars staying out of the way as well. We're on board with Ulysses Del So, just behind Maxime Demare, trying to overtake but not getting too much drive there. And then, of course, the back marker gets in the way and they all have to file round as carefully as they can, staying as far away from the wall as possible. Ulysses Del So really is on the back of Maxime Demare, who's got a lot to think about. We are going back on board now with Del So. The battle does continue. You can see ahead as well, all the cars vying for position. A lot of moving around on track. No one line out there. And of course, the spotter's doing their job. So here we go. Battle for third. Three cars strong. Car 9, 11 and 37. Car number 9. As we saw a little bit earlier on, that of Ercoli. In the mix there, incredible stuff on this back cycle. Oh, we've had contact. Leader of the Legend Trophy, Eric van der Veer, doing a solid performance, but he's lost control of his car on turn four. Picks up Nicky Peterson, who can't avoid him. And both cars have got huge, huge damage. Let's have a quick look then what happened. Well, Eric van der Veer, they're losing control on the outside line. And Nicky Peterson not able to do anything to avoid the number four Ford Mustang. And out comes the safety car while they clear up all of the debris. On board then with Ulysses Del So drama in this first Elite 2 race. Drivers not forgetting to warm their tyres up before the start. So the top 10, it's 67, followed by number 5, 51 next, 11, then 37, number 9, number 3, and car number 24. The restart on lap number 24 as well. Huge battle for second place. Tineo Arroyo is ahead of Ferrando. He's in the car, number 37, very fast on the outside. Look at that. And Renoir loses two spots. He's now in fourth place ahead of Steens Longman. And, well, we saw it earlier on, but the race leader again pulling ahead. No one seems to have an answer for Philip Lietz, who's well ahead. But good news, by the way, for Steens Longen, who has overtaken Florian Renoir in turn three for fourth place. Let's take a quick look at the replay then. On board with Ulysses Del So, it's the restart, and the Frenchman Del So overtook Gianmarco Acoli, the current championship leader. As you can see on the outside line, so reactionary as well. Look, on the outside, manages to get through. Great bit of driving. In the Legend Trophy, there's Eric de Donker there. We saw him a little bit earlier on. And, well, he's up against Eric van der Veer and this man, Leonard Vernet. 
back to the battle for first place, Lietz, while well, he's keeping his opponents at bay. Not a huge gap, though, but he's certainly got enough. Tenero Arroyo is second ahead of Thomas Rando, car number 37 in third place. A bit of a gap there. He started all the way back in seventh place, so a great bit of driving from him. We go back on board for Yusis Del So. He's behind Florian Ranur there. Is he going to get through him here? Up they go. And he's putting on the power, looking on the inside. The brakes go on ahead of him. Again, reacting to all that movement. The banking always very, very hard. And down they go. Hard on the brakes by Ranur. Why has he done that? Oh, on the inside, in the wall. That looks like... It's Gabriela Prado who's lost control of her car in turn four and ends up straight into the wall. The banking sending her off straight away into an area that she does not want to end up in. So out comes a safety car and that advantage that the Yetz had has once again been reduced to absolutely nothing. The Austrian is going to have to fight against Tenero Arroyo one more time, car 51. Ferrando in 37 car and there's only 20 laps to go, in fact just under 20 laps to go. Really was a great view there from the safety car looking back at the pack. A great restart though from the Yetz who once again pulls ahead but it's going to be very tricky for him this time he's had to do it twice already will he get through this time or will he be caught the pack behind chasing him down a lot of cars looking for second and third and fourth position they're all fighting for it at the moment though Liet seems to be well in the lead it seems to be very much in control but we've seen so far today at Venray that this track can catch anybody out at any time Battle of fifth is between Ercole in car number nine and Steens Longen in car number 11. They're really fighting. What happened at the top of the screen just there? It looked to me like Del So made a mistake and brushed the wall. In fact, yes, I'm pretty certain he did. That's what happens when it all goes wrong. Let's have a look at this replay then. Have a look. He's on the outside of Steens Longen. Yes, he gets it all wrong straight into the wall, uses the wall to push himself around, back on the power again. But that mistake, well... Longin took him, and so did Del Flandre as well. A slight mistake from the RDV competition driver, losing two positions and a big brush with the wall. The battle for ninth between car number 24, Dumare, and Carol Perrin there. She is the leader of the Lady Cup over Francesca Linosi. Very much a big fight between these two here as we head back to look at the fight for fifth place. Fights and battles all throughout this entire pack. Car number nine slightly ahead there of car number 11. And they are fighting for it. And as you look at the battle for second place now, well, Lietz is moving ahead of them, but these two very much fighting on to the last lap. Lietz now has to hold this together. That's all he's got to do. The other cars really fighting for it as well. Are they going to be happy with their positions? Are they going to try and press on? Four more turns, that's all they've got. Two for Lietz as they head around the left-hander. Diving in on the inside, car number 37. Looks like he may have got him. Yes, he has. Fantastic bit of driving. Over the line then, he's about to go. Yes, he's done it. It's the... Uh, the black and white flag for Philip Lietz. He wins the race in the racing Ford Mustang, the GDL team. Wins for the first time this year. Third different winner in 2015 after Acoli and Ferrando. He scores his second career win, the first for GDL racing. And a nice result for Thomas Ferrando, who finishes in second place. Salvador Tineo Arroyo is the best rookie, while Simone Loretti wins the gentleman trophy and Eric de Donka the legend trophy. Tenth in this race, Carol Perrin is the first lady. And huge joy for Philip Lietz, who scores his first ever 